Hey guys, what's up? Yeah, you can see this is a belated uh, Black Friday haul. And if you can hear me a little bit better, it's because I have my um, my Taxstar uh, mic connected. Basically, courtesy of the strap I have on the camera, I kind of have the wedged in there, so it kind of works out that way. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd come on here, and as I can say, this is sort of a belated, a belated, <laughs> a week late Black Friday uh, haul. Basically, a belated Black Friday haul by a week. Belated by a week, of course. Um, the reason being is because a few factors had to play in. One, I had to get, I had to wait till my check came in, my work check that had my bonus. And I had to wait for my SSI check to come in, which together equaled a pretty good amount. As well as I had to wait to get my 15% uh, discount for working Thanksgiving and Black Fr Thanksgiving Day and Thanksgiving Friday, which was, of course, Black Friday, the official Black Friday. I had to wait to get those to combine it with my regular 10%, which gave me 25%. Now, what I have here wasn't necessarily used by the 25%. I'll show you that in a moment. These were actually used with my regular 10%, but one of the traditions at my job, as well as any retail store, like Walmart, Target, Best Buy, you name it, well, Best Buy is more electronics, but you kind of get the idea, is you're always gonna have sales, and the once in a lifetime, once a year sales. Like, normally something might be fourteen ninety six, about 15 bucks, now it's down to about 10 bucks, you know, nine ninety six, something like that. So of course I had to end up getting movies. Now I didn't get any games yet. I'm still looking into that. I did hide some games, and some games are still kind of discounted just by a bit, not as much. Um, <laughs> um, when I went to go check on some of the hidden areas where I put some of the games, like the Xbox One version of 2K18, I scanned it and it said 41.94. So yeah either that's the regular price for it or it's still discounted some like one of the Titanfall games that I hid came up to about 16 something so there's still some possibilities there so I gotta look into that down the line I mean, um, as we speak um, but with that said I did get some movies, and unlike Andre of Black Nerd Comedy, I didn't get any 4Ks, even though technically Xbox One S is a 4K player. I didn't get any 4Ks, mainly because I didn't feel like it, and besides the fact that they didn't have any 4Ks in the, um, in the, uh, in the cardboard displays at Action Alley of the movies that was still on sale. And the way they describe, and the way these are on sale is the, in these wooden red display, in these cardboard, these red cardboard displays, and each of them says, well, supplies last. And it's not just for the movies either. You got clothing items the same way, so it's still out there. So that's there, but you know, it's not as you know, like prominent as it should be. But what did I get? What did I get through through that? Well, again, the movies are priced differently depending on the color code. Some with the blue color code, or, you know, could you know, depending on what format as well, it go it can range from a dollar ninety six to five ninety six to nine ninety six, what have you. So what did I get? Well, let's look here. And the first one is, well, let's look at the blue, the DVDs first that I have. I didn't get many DVDs, mostly it was all Blu-rays, but I did get some. I did get some. Uh, the first one, I think, was for about... I can't remember what the code was, 9.96 or something like that. Because basically, the here was the thing that was different, unlike last year and the previous year, was the color coding always was a different price. Nowadays, it was like, oh, it was like this year, it's like blue could be 9.96. Well, pink could be 9.96. But 
I think what you got to look at, I think what, um, I think the scenario you got to look at basically is what kind of movie it is or what kind of DVD or Blu-ray it is. If it's a series set, if it's a seasonal, if it's a seasonal set of a current season, like I say, if it's a, if it's a seasonal set of a current season, then yeah, that's going to be a little hard to, then that's going to be on sale from its regular price. Like if a season is fifteen dollars, it's not, the pink, the pink uh, promo code indicates it's nine ninety six. If a movie collection could be around fourteen dollars, fifteen dollars, multiple movies and all that, classic or whatever, and you get a turquoise kind of sky blue promo sticker that indicates that's nine ninety six. So, I know it sounds confusing, but the DVDs I did end up getting are uh, the for ten ten movies. This was released by Universal. I don't know how many discs this is. It's multiple discs, obviously. But it's ten movies. It's the... Bob Hope Classic Comedy Collection. It's ten movies, the Bob Hope Classic Comedy Collection. I'm sure they have this on Blu-ray as well. But they just didn't sell the Blu-ray. And it's got a lot... It's got ten movies on here. It's got Give Me a Sailor... Thanks for the memory. Never say die. The car and the canary. The ghost breakers. Caught in the draft. Nothing but the truth. My favorite blonde. The pale face. And Sawful Jones. And the um. And the bonus features are Entertaining the Troops, Command Performances 1944, Command Performances 1945, Hollywood Victory Caver uh, uh, Caravan. And I think this may have been released this year. Maybe I go look it up online. But yeah, Universal released it. It's got 10 movies. Not too bad. Not too shabby for, I think, what was it, nine ninety six. Normally, this goes for a lot more than that. I think maybe 15 19 something like that. Not too bad. Not too bad to have that. And my mom actually likes liked seeing that, the, uh, that this was there. And I ended up getting it because she's like, oh, I like Bob Hope. So there you go. Some, some movies to laugh at. And then, of course... They had a peripheral, well not a peripheral, but they had several of the CW and Fox DC uh, series on sale as well. Now the other day I saw the second season and I put that away so I could try to get it. I don't know if it's hidden still or somebody gra grabbed it. But that's okay because I ended up coming back and getting this as well it may not be the first it may not be the second but i think it's the more recent season before the current season we have the complete third season of the flash the complete third season of the flash so that's pretty cool and uh, i think this might be where he teams let's see it's got reverse flash flashpoint universe Yeah, 2016 Comic-Con panel. So yeah, it's my the most recent season before the current one. So yeah, I got the complete third season for 9.96 of The Flash. So that's pretty cool. Not too bad. Now I know one thing Zaren Isaac would say is, you know, look at the plastic and how it's kind of wrapped up a little bit. It's kind of like rewrapped. It's like, why do they do that? I don't know. <laughs> But now, let's get to the Blu-rays that were on sale, and they were sort of in the same category. You know, certain colors meant five ninety six, dollars some meant nine ninety six, stuff like that. And one thing I told my mom is, you know, I've busted my butt this past year for my job, and in recent months, I have basically gone, and I, I believe in my opinion, gone above and beyond what I normally do. Um, 
I basically went out of my way and essentially just, um, I would do carts for majority of my shifts. It seemed like it at times, or for the second half, so first half of my shifts or whatever, ending parts of my shift. I would go and do customer service. I would do site to store layaway like I did yesterday. So I figured, you know what? I deserve a little something once in a while. And you can't tell me that anybody else that works a retail job that has this kind of stuff happen doesn't do the same thing. So anyway, let's take a look at the movies I ended up getting uh, as well. Now I wasn't sure about Furious, Furious 7. I think I have that on Blu-ray. Hey, I gotta check again. If not, if it's still there, I'll get it. But one of the actors, one of the lead actors in the Fast and Furious series also had another series of movies he did. And this was a sequel to one that people have been waiting for. And it was for five ninety six. You can't beat that. We have Triple X Return of Xander Cage. Triple X Return of Xander Cage. So that was pretty cool to get. Five ninety six. Can't go wrong with that. It's both the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy, so you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that at all. So you see the year 2017 just came out this year. 596. Not too bad. Not too bad. I can't even. I don't remember it coming out this year, but there it is. It's pretty cool. So yeah, Triple X Return to Santa Cage. I probably have to get the first Triple X and kind of have a collection there. Next up, I know some people were pissed on this movie, felt that it was a bad portrayal uh, of the game, an adaption of the game. I ended up getting Assassin's Creed for $5.96. And I think this is just the Blu ray. No, it's the Blu ray, DVD, and digital HD. But yeah, I ended up getting Assassin's Creed. Again, I know not many people were too high on this. It's like, you know, there was potential, but it's like you ended up screwing it up in some ways. But you know what? You're not going to see many of these because once something like this gets attempted, they don't always do it again. But it all depends on who the studio that backs it is. So, yeah, I got Assassin's Creed 596. So that's not too bad. And that came out this year. So, not too bad. Two recent movies that came out this year, 596. And then another movie that came out, I think, this year, and of course it's done in that wrapping that Zero Nice Rex Sean doesn't like, where they basically rewrap it. We have Snatched. Yeah, we have Snatched with Goldie Hawn and her daughter, Amy Schumacher. Amy Schumer. So yeah, we have Snatched. It's an R-rated film, of course. And my mom does want to check it out because she likes Goldie Hawn. And if there's any certain moments and scenes in there, she'll just close her eyes or fast forward to fast forward through them. <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, it's the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD, so that's pretty cool. We got Snatched. 596, can't beat that. And then so 596, this is the follow-up, and I'm looking, making sure that I do not have it. I don't think I do. We have the Huntsman's Winter War. It is the story before Snow White. In other words, it's the prequel. It's a sequel prequel to Snow White and the Huntsman. We have The Huntsman, Winter's War. So now I got both movies. That's pretty cool. And it's another movie with Charlie Theron in it, in it. As you might recall, Charlie Theron recently was in Atomic Blonde. So it's pretty cool. 596, can't beat that to get The Hunter's Winter, Huntsman's Winter War. The prequel to Snow White and The Huntsman. As far as I know. And now we got some movies that were nine ninety six. Normally it would be about maybe fourteen. In um, I ended up getting one of the movies that Dwayne Johnson The Rock was in. 
it is based uh, based on a hit series of course and it's the extended cut we have Baywatch that's right we have Baywatch the extended cut but and apparently I guess this is a fun this is a supposed to be funny but it wasn't it wasn't too terrible I from what I understand but it's supposed to be funny so yeah we got Dwayne Johnson Zach Efron uh, in Baywatch so pretty cool pretty cool to to have that in the collection pretty cool. then next up 996 you can't beat this it's gotten some positive praise with visual effects and everything Yes, it's a PG-13 rating, thank goodness. I'm sure there's an unrated version out there. It's epic, thrilling, and entertaining. Jennifer Lawrence, Chris Pratt. We have, and of course, it's in that wrapping, like I said, that Zero Nicer Act doesn't like. We have, pa we have Passengers. Yes, we have Passengers. How about that? Passengers on Blu-ray. And I can kind of probably see why he says that, because of the fact that you got this right here, this kind of Blu-ray thing, when everything else is all flat and neat now. So, yeah. You got passengers here, so. It's pretty cool. Passengers, as well. Be a good movie to check out. And then, of course, probably one of the more semi-successful, if not very popular uh, DreamWorks films that they have brought out this year um, put it this way Animat was not too thrilled about this but it's a DreamWorks film give it a shot see what they do it's at Alec Baldwin of course is very funny and I'm talking about Boss Baby that's right the Boss Baby I was always think I was kind of on the edge about getting this and then it saw it's for 996 I figured yeah, what the heck, might as well check it out. But yeah, it is Boss Baby. And of course, I guess it was popular enough to where it's getting a sequel. So yeah, we have The Boss Baby. How about that? So there you go. And then of course, I ended up getting one that's not on sale. I wish it was. It would have really helped its sales as well. But for uh, 1996, couldn't pass it up. And it's in that wrapping. It, it seems like it's in that wrapping, but it shouldn't be. It has the slipcover. It has an exclusive. It says a Woma exclusive. The art of the film book. Oh, that's pretty cool. We have from the director of Professional Fifth Element and Lucy. We have Valerian Valeria in the city in the city of a thousand planets along with the slipcover. So yeah, we have Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets on Blu-ray, so how about that? And yes, it does seem like it's in that shrink wrap again that nobody really likes. Don't know why. Maybe it's because of the book or something that's inside it, but yeah, we have this as well. So that's pretty cool. It's supposed to be, I guess, good. It's supposed to be, it's a, basically I think it's only the only praise it's got is because of its visuals. So, but yeah, we got Valerian, of course, in the city of a thousand planets. So, that's pretty cool. Put that in the bag here. Put that back over here. Because, I also want to say that I, had, I got something else as well. It is called an Odoman. It's called an Odoman. Olterman, or Olterman, basically it is a storage thing that you can put right here in the front if you want to and you can um, put your feet up and everything. Basically I had a tote here as probably some of you saw in a room tour and I decided you what know, I've had my eyes on this Olterman kind of like furniture storage thing whatever I'm gonna get it put the stuff that's in the tote in there and maybe room for some other stuff down the line if I have to so that way I have a little bit more room and space um, as time goes on. But yeah, I ended up getting an older room, 
owner them, if you will, of Better Homes and Appliances. I think I think that's what it was. Well, basically, it was because by Better Homes and Gardens, it's an odor room. It's a storage deal. So you could check that out. Basically, where you lift it up, put your stuff in, lift it down, and you could put your feet up, kind of deal. But, and I apologize for this going into two parts now, that's not the only thing I ended up getting. Nope. That's not the only thing. Now, I'll do an unboxing of this later on uh, today. And now that it's Saturday, I'll do one later on today because my mom's got to be at a training and I'll have the house to myself for somewhat a few hours. I got something that I've been having my eyes on for a while. My nephews ended up getting one for and during the summer. Uh, my niece ended up getting two of them, I think from the Turlock GameStop, where she got one for her son for his birthday. And then I guess just because to kind of motivate my 13-year-old uh, nephew to do better, you know, she got one for him to kind of motivate him to do better, to kind of have something to like work towards. Even though for some reason he's not playing it as much as he is the Xbox One S that he has. But anyway, what am I talking about? Well, probably the most best-selling system going today. The best-selling system going today. Even though it's not up there yet as far as sales go. And yeah, the box has got a little bit of a, a creech here, but that's just probably because I long story short when I ended up getting it I ended up this is where I used my 25% my 15% discount from working Thanksgiving holiday and the day after as well as my ten, regular 10% this is where it went and I did this during the early portion of during my first break because this was the only one in store this was the only one out in this this was the only one that was in the cage displayed in the game cage at my job even though I find out later on oh we have tons of them back we have enough back there um, I don't know how long it would have took if they would have just if they would have gotten would have gone and gotten them then but I decided you know what I'm gonna get this now I didn't get no warranty on it yet hopefully I don't have to worry about that but maybe I'll get it later maybe I might get a second one down the line and get the warranty as well but who knows I ended up getting, and this basically makes it complete for me because now for the first time in, as far as I know, I have all three current generation consoles. Ignore the fact that you have an, there's the Xbox One X or the PS4 Pro. Those are just upgrades of the current console, of the consoles they spawn, of the consoles that they spawned from. They're basically the same consoles as just upgraded versions. But where did I end up getting? How about the Nintendo Switch? Yes, I ended up getting the Switch for the first time. And I've, there have been many times I was thinking about getting this, but I never could. It's like any opportunity I had of getting it and we would have it in stock, all of a sudden it would be like, whoops, sorry, can't do it. we're gonna hopefully open this up maybe I'm not well I'll do a little, not much of an unboxing but I'll just kind of show you the contents that are within well I guess I can't do that unless I pull the thing out but that's what it looks like on the ins that's the beginning part of it right there so oh here we go here we go there it is right there how about that Now, unfortunately, I only ended up getting one game so far. There are going to be more games I'm going to get, but, you know, I'm just happy to finally have this. Um, the only question now is, what do I do? I mean, I could put it on display here in my room, but then my nephews want to be in my room to play it. Uh, that's the benefit, though, that I may have with this. Everybody knows that the selling point of this is you don't have to have it in your room for them to play. They can take it with them. 
and play it elsewhere in the house. So that's the benefit I have about this. So if I can just play, put it in my room here, that'd be great. Um, so we'll just have to wait and see. I may keep it in my room anyway, just for the fact that I don't want to take any chances. But yeah, I ended up getting the Switch finally. Thank God for that. And again, I may end up getting another one down the line just for the fact to keep it in there or something. We'll find out. But yeah, I ended up getting the Switch. But of course, you know me. Well, matter of fact, you know anybody. You can't just get something like a Switch, a new console, without getting an accessory and maybe even a game. Now, like I said, I only got one game, but it's probably the most best-selling game out there that people want. I am gonna get, I am gonna get Deluxe, which is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I am gonna get Breath of the Wild. I'm gonna get Arms and One Two and One and Two, which is a party game. But before I show you the game, I ended up getting a controller because my coworker said, "Hey, if you get this and you just use your 25 percent, it's kind of a waste." So, and he even reminded me of that later when I was shopping. He said, "So you should have waited." Yeah, but I wasn't sure you had any. I wasn't sure if they had any switches besides the one I saw on display in the cage. But I ended up finally. But of course, even if I didn't need any convincing, I was looking anyway. I ended up getting, and this is a wired controller. So this can actually, this doesn't have to be charged or anything. But this is a wired controller. I ended up getting. through Power A, and Andre Metals already showed this off, I ended up getting the wire controller for the Nintendo Switch, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Edition. How about that? Breath of the Wild Edition. And this is compatible with uh, the game I have as well. So yeah, this is the Breath of the Wild Edition. So when I get Breath of the Wild, at least I have the controller that can go along with it <laughs> uh, as well. So there it is. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. But yeah, Breath of the Wild edition of the controller. It's pretty nice. But of course, like I said, like I said, you know, you can't have a game, I mean, you can't have a new console without getting a game. And I could have gotten more but when I checked the games that I did hide, they kind of went back up in price. Of course, it's a new console, so what do you expect? But the game I ended up getting is definitely probably worth it because this just recently came out a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, a month or something like that. People are praising it. It's probably going to be being one of the better Mario, Mario games there is. And of course, you probably know what I'm talking about now. Well, Praising is probably one of the better Mario games there is. And the fact that it's probably going to be nominated, if not win, Game of the Year for Nintendo, if not above, if not for all games in general. And of course, I'm talking about Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah. You can't get a Nintendo system in your first game. Because here's the thing I look at. You can't buy a Nintendo system and not let and not have your first game be the Mario game that is pretty much if back in the past we'd be packaged alongside it. So and it is actually there are special bundles that of the Switch that are packaged with the Odyssey here as well. Basically, they cost a little bit more, but they are packaged with the Odyssey. There are some that are packaged with Splatoon. There are some packaged with Breath of the Wild. You kind of get the idea. But yeah, we have Super Mario Odyssey for the Nintendo Switch. So it's pretty cool. And what's weird about this is the size of the game itself. It's so small. The game cartridge is so small. So, I mean, yeah, it's really nice to have. And it does say that it is Nintendo Switch Pro controller cap compatible. So hopefully that's what that is. Hopefully that's that's what that is. So it's amiibo compatible and it's Switch Pro compatible. And I think I 
sink. This is a wire controller. It's not a pro, but I'm pretty sure it's still compatible. It, you know, I'm pretty sure this is still compatible. But either way, you got a controller anyway when you dock the thing together. But yeah, there you go. Mario Odyssey. Can't go wrong with that, so I'm just happy. So, there you So, can't wait to play this. Probably start playing it tomorrow. Really happy to have it. Oh, I gotta put these movies back. All these series back over here. Movies. Uh, but yeah, just happy to have it now and cannot wait to see how this plays. And apparently, a lot of people love it. So, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for my belated by a week Black Friday haul on what I got. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. Comment if you like. I will talk to y'all later. God bless. Take care. I'm out.